Hello students, in this video I will discuss the Viber questions based on the determination of Planck's constant using photoelectric effect. And the basic theory is based on the principle of photoelectric effect and when white light passing through various filters falls on the photocells and it causes photoelectrons to be emitted and it constitutes a current flow. A voltage called the stopping voltage, voltage or stopping potential it is applied to stop the flow of photoelectrons. If the wavelength of the incoming light and the corresponding stopping potential are known then the value of Planck's constant can be found by using the formula H equal to E B2 minus B1 lambda 1 lambda 2 divided by C lambda 1 minus lambda 2 where E is the charge on electron which is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb B2 and B1 are the stopping potential corresponding to wavelength 2 and wavelength 1 lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the wavelength of light in meters and C is the velocity of light in vacuum that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second H equal to Planck's constant which is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second that is the standard value now there are some viva questions what is photoelectric effect so photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons from the surface of a metal when light is incident on it these ejected electrons are known as photoelectrons an electron is emitted from the metal only if the energy of the incident photon is greater than the work function of the metal so h nu of this uh, incident radiation should be greater than the work function of the metal h nu should be greater than phi naught and it was discovered by Hertz in 1887 but this phenomena was explained by Einstein using the photoelectric equation which is the kinetic energy maximum of the photoelectron photoelectrons equal to the h nu the energy of incident radiation minus phi naught phi naught is the work function so this is the Einstein's photoelectric equation what is photocell in a photoelectric experiment photocell is a device which converts the light energy in electrical energy it works on the principle of the photoelectric effect at and it contains a photosensitive metal cathode and a anode for the production of photocurrent on which factors the photocurrent depends the strength of photocurrent depends upon the intensity of incident radiation and an increase in the intensity of the radiation means more photons are incident so more electrons will be ejected means photoelectric current will be increased so now we will discuss uh, what is the work function of a metal so work function is the minimum amount of energy required to eject an electron from the surface of a metal and using this graph new frequency versus the kinetic energy of electron we can see that there is no uh, photo electrons up to certain frequency nu naught so below the frequency nu naught or below this energy h nu naught there will be no kinetic energy of electrons ek equal to 0 and this amount of energy phi equal to s nu naught is known as the work function phi of that metal and nu naught the frequency it is known as the threshold frequency which materials are used for photosensitive metals for visible light so metal with low low work function are used like alkali and alkanite metals such as sodium, potassium, calcium are used as photosensitive metals for visible light and in this table we can see there are different metals like lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium and these have uh, the work function in electron voltage given for lithium it is 2.4, sodium 2.3, potassium 2.2, magnesium 3.7 and it is increasing for platinum it is highest 6.3 so it is very difficult to eject the electrons from the surface of the metals like platinum or tungsten or iron because they have 
higher work function so that's why the lower work function metals are used in as the photosensitive metals what is planck's constant planck constant is a universal constant in physics which have important role in quantum mechanics planck's constant defines the amount of energy that a photon can carry according to the frequency of wave in which it travels e equal to h nu what is the standard value and unit of planck's constant the value of planck's constant h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and in your experiment can you calculate the planck constant using one filter only the answer is no as in our formula we need two wavelengths and two stopping potential for calculation of h so at least two filters are required for the calculation of h what is stopping potential stopping potential is the minimum negative voltage applied to the anode to stop the photo current or photo electrons and the maximum kinetic energy of electrons equal to stopping voltage when measured in electron volt so we can see that at this photo current is zero at this b not which is known as the stopping potential so it is in this direction negative voltage so that is it is the stopping potential b not so what is threshold frequency it is the frequency below which no photoelectrons are ejected it varies for different metals because the work function is different for different metals how do you find the error percentage the error percentage is standard value minus measured value divided by standard value into 100 what is inverse photoelectric effect so in photoelectric effect we sign the metal with light photon and the electrons are ejected whereas in case of the production of x rays in we use the high energy electrons and we eject the x ray photon so production of x ray is the inverse of the photoelectric effect what is use of planck's constant so planck's constant is used for describing a behavior of particles such as photons and waves as wet matter wave at atomic scale and it is used to describe the size of quanta or the energy bundle of electromagnetic radiation e equal to h nu and it has fundamental importance in physical properties at microscopic level or in quantum physics such as black body radiation matter waves electromagnetic radiation etc and from 2019 planck's constant is the basis of standard definition of a kilogram initially it was some platinum iridium alloy which was a standard value of kilogram but now it is based on the planck's constant the new definition of a kilogram the kilogram is now defined in terms of the planck's constant h its value will be set as 6.626070150 into 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter square per second it is very uh, accurate value of h and it can be measured using some uh, equipment equipment such as cable balance cable balance is also known as watt balance it measures how much electricity it takes to balance a weight suspended in a magnetic field so this was all about this experiment uh, the planck's constant using the photoelectric effect so in next experiment we will discuss some another experiment which is important in uh, btech and bsc courses so thanks for watching this video